Jira Backlog Grooming. It is the backbone to running effective sprints and effective sprint planning meetings, but it might seem like a tedious chore. I argue that it's more like a fun gardening activity, except your garden is your Jira board. So I'm going to go over some best practices, including timing for when you should actually do your backlog grooming, how to attack bug squashing versus new features, prioritizing your backlog, and I'm even going to show you three different methods that allow you to filter your Jira backlog. The first one involves you using Jira labels, the second JQL, and the third one Visor, which doesn't require you to know JQL or to have any Jira labels already established for your backlog. So let's get to it. Before I show you literally how to filter your Jira backlog for grooming purposes, here are some high level tips and tricks, some best practices. It doesn't have to feel tedious. Let's dive in. Number one, timing is really everything. So if you end up doing your backlog grooming too far out before your sprint planning, uh, you know, data changes, it evolves, and you might be working with stale data, which no one loves working with data that feels uh, not relevant. So really doing your backlog grooming just like a couple days before sprint planning is really the best. Definitely not a couple hours. You want to give yourself some time, but not too much time before the actual sprint planning. Another best practice, sometimes, you know, scope creep happens and in order to really acknowledge that reality, um, I highly recommend that you schedule V2s of features and updates uh, when working on uh, managing your backlog and not thinking that everything could get done in one sprint or trying to force more things to get in than were uh, initially promised. Third, you know, allocate a sprint or even a day or two to bug bashing. So here at Pfizer, we have a designated Q&E day. Uh, and so we use Pfizer at Pfizer for this. Um, here is our example. We connect to Jira. Uh, Pfizer does. We have a bi-directional sync with Jira. And so we create these really great visualizations and we even have different views for different developers so they know what they need to tackle on q and &E day. It's a wonderful way to really acknowledge the fact that things sometimes need to be fixed or just improved. Okay, so what else? Let's also talk about prioritization, whether using story points or just priority fields really just identify what works best for you and establish those custom fields and those JIRA fields so that you're able to succinctly uh, recognize what the most high value work is in your backlog. Feel free to trash vague and empty ideas uh, and also Though, try to avoid having tickets that are devoid of information. Spec out ideas in the ticket. Recency bias is a thing, and sometimes things seem really exciting. But if you don't detail it in, at length, then when you go back to it later, it might not feel clear. So spec it out. And also keep business needs in mind. And so one way that you could potentially do that, you can do this in JIRA or uh, in Visor with your Jira data, but like creating swim lanes even, whether that's on a board or a timeline chart like this with company initiatives and potential projects next to it for that sprint. I know that C-suite people or uh, people on business teams like marketing, CEOs, CFOs, people like that, they really like to see what these projects are doing for the initiatives at the company level or at the team level. So now that we covered the best practices for JIRA backlog refinement or grooming, I'll go into three different methods that allow you to actually go in and filter your backlog. The first method I'll dive into is Visor because unlike the other two methods, which are done in JIRA, 
With Visor, you don't need to know JQL and you don't need to already have labels established for backlog purposes. So I will go into this one first, and then I'll go into the Jira features next. So let's get started. So number one, you're going to import your Jira data to Visor. And when importing, you're going to want to select the sprint field as a field to import. This is really crucial for the process of backlog grooming for sprint planning purposes. And another thing that you're really going to want to do is Visor offers a one-way sync where you can only import things or a two-way sync where you can import things from Jira and then also, when you're ready, push out the changes that you made in Visor back to Jira. And so you're going to really want to make sure that you choose that two-way syncing because it's going to bring your Jira data into a nested spreadsheet that has all the hierarchies that you already have established in Jira. So once you're done bringing in your data to Jira, to Visor's Jira spreadsheet, you're going to then use filters in Visor to isolate blank fields. And so the blank fields will be the ones that are in your backlog. This is for people who maybe aren't um, establishing fields or labels for their backlog. And so here's a great way to just instantly see what's blank, what's in my backlog. Then once everything is in Visor the way you want it to be, you can drag and drop to set priority. You can also do other things like assign sprints, change assignees, or add notes or estimated due dates with Visor custom fields. Visor's custom fields will only live in Visor, whereas the changes that you make to the Jira data when you push it back out, that will live in Jira. So it's a really cool way if you're working with folks who maybe aren't in Jira or you just wanna play around with your Jira data and augment it without actually changing your Jira instance, this is a wonderful, wonderful way to do that. So that is method one, which is Visor. We're in the Atlassian marketplace. We're totally free to get started with. Now let's get to method number two of filtering your Jira backlog. And in this method, you'll use labels, but I will make a note that you need a Jira backlog label for this method to work. So let's get started. Number one, you have to create a filter. So open the project you'd like to work on, go to filters, drop down menu at the top of the page and select view all filters. Click create a filter, the create a filter button on the right hand side of the screen and then you are done with step one. Then you're gonna want to choose the filter that you just created and uh, you know, select the drop down menu where you have a backlog saved as a label. Like I mentioned, you do need this backlog label for this to work. And you're going to select the checkbox labeled backlog, and Jira will filter for that label. And then you can actually save the filter so that you don't have to create it every time. Uh, and a pop up will appear, which prompts you to enter the name and all that. And from that point forward, you will have a label um, and a filter in Jira that allows you to see your backlog issues. You do need to apply this label to your issues in order for you to um, be able to work in this way. So that's just something to be mindful of when creating issues that you know are not like actively part of a sprint. Okay, let's go to the last method, method number three, which allows you to filter your backlog using JQL, which is Jira's query language. You do need to know JQL somewhat in order to use this method. So let's dive in. So you're gonna open the project you'd like to work on and create a filter much like you did in the last method that I showed you, which uses labels, except you're not going to use the drop-down menus to let you filter with labels. Instead, you're going to click the JQL button to input a query, and then you will be able to actually input the query that you want. So I have a sample JQL query here that is a very typical type of query that would work for this purpose but obviously every Jira instance is a little bit different. 
So you might have to uh, tweak this one or just get help from your IT team if you're not too familiar with JQL yourself. Alternatively, you could check out our blog, which is the ultimate JQL cheat sheet. It's our principal engineer, Patrick, wrote this. It's really helpful, a wonderful way to get started learning this really powerful query language that JIRA offers. Alternatively, you could check out Visor in the Atlassian Marketplace. We are totally free to get started with. We have wonderful reviews. And we also have a lot of other visualizations other than that spreadsheet table view, like Gantz, roadmaps, boards, dashboards, you name it. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use Visor, but it's especially helpful for prioritizing your backlog, editing your JIRA data in bulk, things that really make your processes like JIRA backlog grooming a lot more efficient. And that's really it. The JIRA backlog grooming best practices you need to know before you actually roll up your sleeves and choose one of the three methods that I went over today to go in, filter your backlog, prioritize it, and get ready for those sprint planning meetings. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful or if you have another method that you find helpful. We're always open to our viewers, our readers, our users. So please chime in and I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.